Hey everybody, it's Murray with Crossbreed Holsters. Today we're gonna to discuss how to change the clips on your Reckoning holster from the IWB option that it comes with to the OWB. So if you selected uh, the OWB clips when you purchased your holster, it will come in a bag just like this. Um, it has two clips and two screws in it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Normally, most people are gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. It's just a standard Phillips screwdriver. You need to change these out, but for speed's sake, I'm gonna use a drill today. All right, so all you're gonna do is take the Phillips screw out of the front of the clips of your holster. And you're gonna take that rubber washer off. And like I said, in this bag is be two speed clips and two screws. You're gonna take one of the screws, put it in the hole that you just took that clip screw out of. Snug it back down to the retention you want. Take the other side off. Place it with the other screw. It's really easy if you start these by hand, that way they set in correctly. So it's gonna look like this once you put those screws back in, so there's not gonna be any hardware options to it. So I don't need the blue gun in to do this. I'm gonna take the two screws off where your retention device is. I'm gonna remove those, and I'm gonna keep it sandwiched down, and then I'm gonna take the two Chicago screw backs out of it. All right, so I have those. Now, when you get your speed clips, one will have an L and one will have an R. That is when you are looking at the back of your holster. It's not from the front side. It's when you're looking at it from the back. So from the back, this is the right side. So the right clip is gonna go on here. And if you can see how that lays, the clip lays flat and then goes up. This allows your belt to go through. If you tried to put the left hand one on, when you look at it, you can't feed your belt through because your, the slot for your belt is more towards the front. So you're gonna put the right one on you're just gonna push that Chicago screw right through the back. Top and bottom. And the speed clip has a slot to it, so it can be wiggled around a little bit so it makes it really easy to align. And you're just gonna set the screws back in the front. And I like to start these by hand. That way you cannot get them cross-threaded if you do it that way. And you're just gonna snug them down. All right, so I've got one clip on. And on the other side, you have the option, all these are three quarter inch center to center spacing. You have the option to put this speed clip at the top, in the middle, at the bottom, depending on how you want the cant. So if you want your cant like this, you can put it there. If you want it smack dab straight, or if you want it canted a little bit forward. If you put it at the top, it's gonna have that 10 to 15 degree forward cant um, like most ODB holsters have. So that's where we're gonna choose to put this one. We're gonna put it at the top. So again, you just remove the screws. And I like to keep this sandwiched to keep these two rubber spacers in place. That way you don't have to worry about trying to line those up again. Just put that clip right back over the other one. Put two Chicago screws in. Put it back down, start it. back down. So now I have an OWB option on the Reckoning holster. So if you can see, your belt's gonna go right through there. The speed clips you can put on, they're gonna feel like a solid loop clip um, because the way it's designed, but you can pop it on and off so if you need to take your holster off quickly. For any other questions in reference to changing the options on your Reckoning holster for any other of our products or um, videos, you can check out our website at crossbreedholsters.com.